Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, from Dhaka and every corner of Bangladesh, and this very festivity, or in our short procession of festivity. Thank you. And then we will start our program. Şimdi sizi 50-100 metrelik kısa bir yürüyüşe davet ediyoruz. Bangladeş'te milyonların katıldığı yürüyüşü bir örneğini, burada küçük bir örneğini gerçekleştireceğiz. Lütfen kapının önüne davet edebilir miyiz sizleri? It is voluntary, those who like to come, you can come. It will be a procession of 50 meters, maximum.
আপনাদের সবাইকে আমাদের শিশু একাডেমির পক্ষ থেকে বাংলাদেশের জনগণের পক্ষ থেকে আমরা অভিনন্দন জানাই উই কনগ্রাচুলেট ইউ অন বিহাফ অফ দ্য চিলড্রেন অ্যান্ড পিপল অ্যান্ড দ্য গভর্নমেন্ট অফ বাংলাদেশ আমাদের জাতির পিতা বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমান আমাদের স্বাধীন বাংলাদেশ দিয়েছেন আমরা স্বাধীন দেশের নাগরিক এবং বঙ্গবন্ধুর যে স্বপ্নের মধ্য দিয়ে বাংলাদেশ এগিয়ে চলার কথা সেই বাংলাদেশকে এগিয়ে নিয়ে যাচ্ছেন তারই কন্যা মানবতার মা মাদার অফ হিউম্যানিটি আমাদের প্রাইম মিনিস্টার শেখ হাসিনা বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমান ফাদার অফ দ্য নেশন অফ বাংলাদেশ আমরা এখানে আসতে পেরে আমরা আমাদের বাংলাদেশ সরকারের প্রতি আমরা কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই আমাদের মিনিস্ট্রি মহিলা ও শিশু বিষয়ক মন্ত্রণালয় তাদের প্রতি কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই এবং এই তুরস্কের অ্যাম্বাসেডর মাননীয় মান্যপর অ্যাম্বাসেডর স্যার তার আতিথেয়তা আমাদের শিশুদেরকে মুগ্ধ রেখেছে এবং তার যে স্নেহ তারা পেয়েছে এটি তাদের জন্য অনেক বড় একটি স্মরণীয় হয়ে দিন হয়ে থাকবে We are grateful to our government, government of Bangladesh, for allowing us to come here in Turkey. And we are also grateful to His Excellency, uh, the Ambassador of Bangladesh, Mr. Alamas Siddiqui. We are grateful to you all, and we are grateful to you all, and we are grateful to you all. Thank I thank you again, and I hope that my children's participation you will enjoy. Thank you very much. আমি এই মুহূর্তে আমার মান্যবর অ্যাম্বাসেডর স্যারকে মঞ্চে আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি শুভ নববর্ষ হ্যাপি বাংলা নিউ ইয়ার শুভ মিনস গুড শুভ ইজ সামথিং দ্যাট মিনস হ্যাপিনেস and well be so happiness and well be in english we call we bengalis we say shubho uh, nobo means new and borsho means year so shubho nobo borsho means happy new year or may the new year bring prosperity happiness and well be to all of you this is the actually meaning of this we have uh, the uh, children's academy uh, team with us for last uh, couple of years we have been taking their support in organizing this program in ankara and in istanbul on istanbul the same program was organized by our consulate the consul general is here mr munir islam and it was held at university in istanbul and uh, in the meantime the children took part at the uh, atatürk's birthday celebration as you know 23rd april is the atatürk's date of birth and for that pro for that day turkish government has been organizing a global or kind of international rather uh, celebration with participation of children from different countries and uh, we have been taking part in this program for many years now so uh, i would like to express my thanks and gratitude to the children's academy uh, to director mr anzil liton who is a famous uh, rhyme writer in bangladesh uh, he is a person who is dedicated for children's cause throughout his life he is a very good rhyme writer we are thankful to you we are thankful to uh, altinda municipality for lending us their support because we are also going to have participation from altinda mayoralty cultural troop here and we are also very much thankful to you all dear guests for your kind participation this afternoon this is a 
Sunday, but still you have come and we are really very happy to see you all. Now I would like to talk a little bit about the day. This photograph or picture or painting is the painting which depicts Mughal Emperor Akbar. Akbar is seated over there in his throne. Why Akbar is here? Out of no clue apparently, Akbar is here. Because Akbar is the emperor of the Mughal dynasty who introduced this day for the benefit of collecting land revenue or crop revenue, you can say. Bengal has always been very rich in terms of agricultural activities and a very big source of revenue for the Mughal Empire. So Akbar, the great uh, Emperor Akbar, or Akbar Shah, he introduced this day actually, I mean this year, which initially used to be known by his name. It used to be known as Akbari year or Akbari calendar. But in Bangladesh, we do not call it Akbari calendar. We call it Bangla New Year. The second photograph, before I go into that, I go to the that one on the far left. That photograph actually depicts, on your right actually, uh, that photograph is the way we call upon the day. Before the sunrise, people gather in Dhaka under a gigantic banyan tree. In their thousands, they gather there. And they sing one of the most famous songs of Tagore. Tagore is the greatest Bengali poet ever. And he is also shared with us by India, by the way. And both the national anthems of Bangladesh and India are written by Tagore. Tagore was a Bengali. Uh, so Tagore's song, uh, the, the song that we sung over there on the road, and we will sing right now after some time, is the kind of national anthem for the day. And then in the middle, you will see the procession that we try to copy up here. This procession is the procession that is now recognized by UNESCO since 2016 as the inter one of the intangible uh, heritage of humanity. Since 2016, this day has been recognized by the UNESCO. And this uh, procession is participated at by three to four million people. And every year they bring out some new motifs, gigantic uh, idols of fish, birds, or some other animals, or non-animal motifs that represent Bengali culture. Ethnically we are Bengali, but politically we are Bangladeshis. So these three pictures are very significant for the day. I just wanted to explain these photographs to you, and I have done, my job is finished. Now I would like to call up on the stage uh, Mr. Shubhu Jhamid to conduct the program. We are a little bit late. I'm sorry for that. We are a little bit late, but we will not take any time from now onwards. We will be very brief and crispy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Excellences, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we would like to begin the cultural program. We will be having performances from three different groups. The first group is Bangladesh Children's Academy Cultural Troupe. Second one is from Altinda Folk Dance Group. And another one from Embassy Officials. At first, the sea theme song of the day, the Bangladesh New Year. And the second dance will be based on the song titled Jiri Jiri. This is a kind of folk song.
Excellencies, thank you for your attention. Uh, I wish that uh, this is a kind of makeshift arrangement. This is not a proper stage. So they had to, because the number is great, 16 of them are there. I think they have faced a lot of difficulties performing here. But next time we do this program, inshallah next year, in April 2020, I assure you that we'll have our own auditorium up there. Because our building is built. Uh, and uh, what else? I mean, we have ended with a photograph and a patriotic song and a photograph of our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib, who gave us Bangladesh. And uh, I would now like to call upon the stage director of Shisho Academy, uh, Excellencies who are present here, please join us for a group photograph. We'll be delighted and honored. And also the spouses of the respected ambassadors, please come up here. Please join us for the photo. And uh, after this photo shoot, we will go outside in, into the garden for having some traditional Bangladeshi foods. Question and the second question is uh, your observations about Turkey. First question, thank you for the questions. Uh, this day is the reflection upon Bengali culture, our age old culture, which is wishful of friendship, peace, and well being for all people in the world. Bugün, bugünün anlamı Bangladeş'in uzun yıllardan beri kutladığı bütün insanlığa dostluk ve kardeşlik çağrısı yaptığı Bangladeş yeni yılı. Yeni yıl. Esna bu sene mi oluyor yeni yıl derken? Dostlar devam mı oluyor? Every year in the yes. same time? Yes. Every year actually 14th April hmm. we organize this program on 14th April Odik Teke. Her yıl 14 Nisan'da bu programı kutluyoruz. And uh, the Türkiye'de bulunmaktan mutlular mı? Onu soruyorum. Are you happy being in Bangladesh, in Turkey? Of course, I'm very happy to be in Turkey. Turkey is a very beautiful country. And Bangladesh and Turkey are friendly countries. We are loving each other. We care for each other. 
So uh, my message is to all my Turkish friends is that Bangla New Year is a new year for everybody, not for only people of Bangladesh. And it is a very colorful program that we bring or we conduct on this day in Bangladesh. Millions of people take to the streets, they dance, they sing and they enjoy food. They wear dresses like this one, my wife's dress and my dress. And it is a very colorful program out there in Bangladesh in April. Elbette Türkiye'de bulunmaktan çok mutluyum. Türkiye ve Bangladeş kardeş ülkeler, dost ülkeler. Burada bulunmaktan çok mutluyuz. Biz bu programı Bangladeş'te de kutluyoruz. Bangladeş'te milyonlarca kişi bugün de bu anlamlı günde sokaklara çıkar ve burada yaptığımız gibi kutlarlar. Sayın Cumhurbaşkanımızı çalışmamın ben beğeniyorum. Görüşüyorlar mı? Are you meeting with the Honorable President of Turkey, Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdoğan, and how do you find his works? Well, Honorable, I had the good opportunity of meeting him after my arrival, and after that also a couple of times briefly I met him. He is a great leader, a very strong leader, and a very wise person. And Turkey has done very well during last few years and people of Bangladesh are happy to see positive developments in Turkey. Elbette Türkiye'ye geldiğimde Sayın Cumhurbaşkanı'nı görme şansım oldu. Daha sonraları da kısa dönemlerde kendisini gördüm. Biz Bangladesh olarak Türkiye'nin son yıllarda elde ettiği başarılardan büyük mutluluk duyuyoruz. Sayın Cumhurbaşkanı çok ileri görüşlü, zeki, akıllı bir insan. Onun liderliğinde Türkiye gerçekten başarıdan başarıya koşuyor. Evet, ben teşekkür ediyorum. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler.